the expansion that we're building is 33,000 square foot, uh, two levels, so it will give us an, an additional 66,000 square feet of manufacturing space. Once the current expansion is completed, it will double our available capacity. It will make the St. Louis site the single largest single-use technology CDMO in the United States. So when we look at the St. Louis expansion, it's a two-story building and it's connected and integrated with the existing facility. On the ground floor, we'll have a cell culture ballroom and a purification ballroom. And on the second level, we will have shell space for future expansion. The St. Louis expansion project is a very forward-looking project. We're integrating new technologies. We're integrating the high-performer bioreactors from Thermo Fisher. We're integrating the smart factory. We're integrating inline dilution capabilities. And uh, we are also looking at increasing our ability to manufacture higher, tighter, and higher throughput. As a client, you should be looking at this expansion as continued opportunity. Not only can we bring in your molecule and develop it and then commercialize it, we'll have ample capacity to keep you in the commercial market for years to come. Molecules are not one size fits all. And so I think it's very important to be able to work with each molecule and do what's best for that specific process instead of just saying, well, this is what you're gonna get because this is our platform. We're actually willing to kind of customize each little thing um, to make it all work as, as a better process as a whole. You can run 48 micro vessels at a time and each one holds about 15 mils of culture. And so you can do DOE design and study 48 different conditions. And then we use our jump analysis software in order to kind of assess what is the best parameters going forward from that study. In the manufacturing process, we have the upstream, we have the downstream, and then I have my production support services. Uh, and this is a team of dedicated individuals. Uh, they really know their stuff, and we have different groups. The first one would be the equipment cleaning team. So there we're taking uh, stainless steel equipment uh, that will go through validated wash cycles. So as you walk into Suite 5, the first thing you'll see is that we're, uh, we're gowning to a higher level in here. Um, and here you're coming into a ballroom. Um, it's a multi-product ballroom, so we run multiple bioreactors at the same time. Uh, we go through a standard approach where we use a wave bioreactor for the smaller volume, it then transfers to a 50 litre bioreactor, onto a 500 litre bioreactor, and ultimately to our suite of 2,000 litre bioreactors. When we're working in the upstream area, we're working with cell culture. Um, and the important thing with cell culture is you need to keep everything aseptic. So we use exclusively single-use technology. So what this means is we have pre-sterilized or gamma-irradiated bags um, that we're able to aseptically add the media and add the cells to it and then allow it to grow. When we use single-use uh, bags and surfaces, we don't have to worry about any cross-contamination from prior products because what the product contact surface is new and virgin each time we use it. The operators invest a significant amount of time for every batch. And we're talking about five weeks of cell growth. So these guys are very much involved. They want this to be successful. Um, they're fully invested. Um, they take a lot of pride in how they run the reactors. They really want to see a successful outcome. So when you come into the downstream suite, it's a large open space and it's a very flexible space. So in, in, a, in the space of a day, uh, we will change the layout of the room. All of my equipment is on wheels. Um, our clients' processes as they come in are all different. They all need a level of specialization in how the unit operations proceed, how much buffer volume I need around a certain step. So the team on the floor, they understand this, they plan in advance and they know where to put two tanks together, how to uh, line up the chromatography skids and the columns so this can be really efficient. The team on any given day are always looking to be setting up a step in advance and then running a step. Um, that's, so they want to always keep that efficiency there. So a lot of the SMEs that we have come from both industry and academia. So some of them range 
from you know, five years to 20 years experience in the industry uh, and academia experience. Uh, we have a range of uh, individuals that have backgrounds from bachelor's degrees all the way up to PhD. So the majority of our senior staff contains master's or PhD degrees um, and, it, and it helps drive those experiences and technical discussions. Here in St. Louis, we do offer a quick to clinic service, which allows us to use our previous knowledge to use our platform processes, platform media, in order to get the process established and transferred over to manufacturing more quickly than a full development process would require. I think that what differentiates us is our willingness to be flexible and to customize for what our clients need. When we work with large pharmaceutical companies, those companies usually come to us with a very defined process that they like to take, either for their early development activities or their commercialization or their regulatory approach. And it's really about us taking that, understanding it, and adapting our systems to help them get to where they're trying to go. Uh, you contrast that with a smaller pharmaceutical company that may not have all of those answers, maybe engaging some consultants to help. We view our role as providing the best scientific recommendations, experience, and know-how to help our customers overcome the myriad of challenges that can pop up during a molecule's life cycle. In our business, transparency is very important. Um, we are an outsourcing solution, so our customers aren't on site. And so they need us to be clear and transparent when things go right and when things go wrong. When you think about risk in, in biomanufacturing, there's a lot of different ways. And so our risk management process is, is a very, I think, methodical way that we try upfront as best we can to assess the risks that a, a particular program might have. And then we build those mitigation plans at, at, at our company and at our site. Um, we, we love making molecules and we love making medicines and we like to think we do a very good job at that. Made with process and purpose in St. Louis, Missouri.